Hello YouTube friends. I wanted to show you another kind of rope strap today. Still using the tape and peanut butter method, but something you can use in your house. You can just slide these under your ref refrigerator, like right here, and pull it out and the roaches uh, will come to it. Uh, so this is one. It's got roaches on it. You see, uh, it's, and the, you know, this one's been in use for probably a week or so. And we just got a new uh, population of roaches. We totally eliminated them about two years ago using this kind of, kind of trap. But uh, we got them back. I'm pretty sure they came in in uh, cartons, packages of, uh, of water, uh, water bottles. That's where I noticed the little roaches coming out of when we first noticed them. And we had hauled them in. So when they're in the warehouse, I'm sure they pick up. Uh, roaches in those things. Okay, so this tape came from uh, Dollar Tree, a dollar for this tape, and it's silver and it's cloth. They call it cloth back tape, but it's called duct tape also, D U C T. This is the cheapest tape you can get, a dollar for a roll, and I've used it on several of these t uh, traps and it's worked good. So fold one end back like this and then take a piece of uh, carton this is off of a, a cola drink cart carton so the black the brown seems to uh, be well suited for the to attract the bugs and uh, if you got a little ridge on it it seems to work good because it holds the tape up a little bit uh, so Take your peanut butter. Now this is uh, crunchy, but I'll just use the uh, I'll just use my knife to take out some of the non-crunchy part because you really don't want crunchy because you don't want it uh, sticking up high. So let's go with this one, this piece here right now. So this is your piece, and it's. A little bit bigger than the tape. You see the tape and the piece is bigger than the tape. And so what I want to do is um, go ahead and just rip this off about the length of the about the length of it and then fold the end back a little bit so it's easier to handle. So fold the end back right there. So you've got a piece of tape. Both ends folded back. Put three little daubs of peanut butter, about the size of a, a pea or something, and just a little bit of smearing it. Three dots like that. Smear just a little and lay it down flat on here. If you got a ridge like this one has this little ridge where the, the seam was, the corner was, you kind of leave, you don't have to do this, but Sometimes that ridge will give you a little bit of a air gap for the bugs to uh, work their way under there. And the bugs love to snuggle under there. So that's the trap right there. You just slide that under your refrigerator. All right, so there's one trap made out of that. Cost me almost nothing. Just a little bit of tape. Peanut butter I already had around. Make another one real quick. Cut it out about the length there. Rip it off. Hold the ends in just so I can handle it. Hold this end in a little bit. Three dots of peanut butter. Now where where would you put these? Uh, I slide them under the refrigerator. It seems like that's the main part. The, the bugs seem to really like that air uh, there's a fan under ref the refrigerator that blows air out, hot air. They seem to like that warm air. So this and this. So I'll take this and uh, like I say, I've already got three of them under this. I've got a relative who lives nearby that wants me to come do theirs. And you just slide it right under your refrigerator. Leave about an inch sticking out so you can grab it. When you pull it out, you just slide it out like this. Then you can look under there and see what's under there. 
uh, and throw it away when you get ready. I, I use a, uh, now this is a little gross, but I like to make sure they're dead. So I'll take this over here and open it and then I'll hit them with a little, uh, like a little, see I had one in my pocket, anyway, a pencil or something. I'll just kill them, make sure they're dead because they'll be wiggling around on there for four or five days if you, if you don't poke them dead. And it just takes a little bit of a punch. And you don't have to, if, if you're squeamish, you don't want to do that, just mash it in there. Just mash it down, throw it in the trash, and fix you another one to go back in there. Uh, they seem to work better, though, after they get three or four roaches on it, and then, they'll, uh, then they seem to come to it a lot quicker. Okay, YouTube, like and subscribe if you will. I hope this helps. It's a, basically a no-cost, no-poison way to get rid of your roaches. Have a great day.